Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss what is program development life cycle. Now in previous video we discuss what is algorithm, what is flow chart. Now here we are going to discuss what are the program development life cycle. So let's start. So before understanding what is program development life cycle, let us understand what is programming or what is program. Now programming is the process of creating set of instructions that tell computer how to perform tasks. Now in previous video we already discussed what is algorithm. Algorithm is also nothing but the set of instructions and that set of instructions tell to computer how to perform tasks. So before, before doing the programming, we have to write the instructions that is nothing but the algorithm. Now programming is the process of creating set of instruction to perform tasks or function. Now the programmer can be use any programming languages to, to write a set of instructions. Like for example, programmer can be used C, C++, Java, and it follows sequence of steps. Now these steps are nothing but called as a phases. Now these phases are included in program development life cycle. Now let us understand what are the phases in program development life cycle. Now in this diagram you can see these are the six phases for program development life cycle. The first phase is the problem definition. Second phase is the problem analysis. Third phase is the algorithm development. Fourth phase is coding and documentation. Next, testing and debugging. And last phase is nothing but the maintenance. So there are total six phases are included into program development life cycle. Now let understand one by one the each phases. So let us understand the first phase that is nothing but the problem definition. Now it defines the problem statement that is what exactly problem is occur while we are doing the programming and decide the boundaries of the program. Boundaries that is what are the limitations occur while we are doing the programming that we are going to define in this phase that's why it is called as a problem definition. Now here in this phase we need to understand what is the problem statement or what is the exact limitations and what are the boundaries. Now the next phase is nothing but the problem analysis. Now here in problem analysis we analyze or we can find out what are the requirements like what are the variables, what are the functions are used to solve a problem. And what is the exact output or to achieve a particular output we require some resources that is in problem analysis we gather some required resources to solve a problem. The problem which we already defined in first phase that is problem definition phase. So we required or we require things like variable functions and we require some resources to solve a problem. Now the next phase is the, now let understand what is the algorithm development. Now algorithm development is a third phase of program development life cycle. After doing the problem analysis, we develop some procedure that is the algorithm. Now what is the, in previous video we discuss exactly what is algorithm. Now, algorithm is nothing but step by step procedure that is understood the, to solve a problem because of we follow the steps in order or in sequence. So, it solves the problem by using specific given instructions or specification given in previous phase that is the specification that is what are the analysis done in the previous phase that is what are the requirements, what are the resources. And we it write the solution step by step that is nothing but the algorithm development. Now the next 
phase of program development life cycle is nothing but the coding and documentation now programming language is write or implement the actual program instructions for steps defined in previous phases now in algorithm development we we define the algorithm or we write the algorithm that is we write some steps by steps sequence of instructions now here in coding and development we implement the actual programming that is we write some actual coding by using or we construct actual programs by using different programming languages now here it write the program to solve given problem by using programming languages like c c++ java etc so this is all about the coding and documentation the next phase of program cycle is testing and debugging now here the name itself suggest what is testing now here it checks whether the written code which is written in previous step that is coding and documentation its written code in previous step is solving a specific problem or not that that is we are going to test the programs whether the solving the problem various input data or not that is we are seeing in the debugging providing the desired output or we get the desired output not or not or it simply test our programming code the next phase is nothing but the maintenance now this is the last phase of program development life cycle and it make the enhancement because is it maintain the all phases the solution is used by end user now the maintenance phase is tried or used by the end user if the user get any problem or if the user want any updation or want any enhancement there's a need to repeat all the phases now if in maintenance phase if a, any problem is occur or any problem is not solved or need to enhancement then again it becomes the limitations or boundaries of program and again it define in next phase of pro, uh, program development life cycle that is problem definition and again the cycle is goes on that's why it's called as a program development life cycle so here after maintenance if it gets any problems or want to enhancement it need to repeat all phases now suppose there is an encounter problem is solved or enhancement is added and again this cycle is goes on so that is all about the problem development life cycle so problem development life cycle include the total six phases that is problem definition that is here we are going to define the problem or limitation or boundaries now in second phase problem analysis we define some requirements or and resources next is the algorithm development here we are writing the step by steps procedure in coding and documentation we in implement the coding or actual program in testing and de debugging we are testing some errors or we are checking whether the correct output or not in maintenance it is used by end user and if it encounter problem it solve enhancement and enhancement is added and again the cycle is goes on that's why it's called as a program development life cycle so this is all about the program development life cycle in c now in next video we are going to discuss what are the features of c